Hood pin, bro. What's that? Hood pin, bro. Did the hood flip up? Win. Woo! A.m. Wait, it's 6 a.m.? Yeah. Jeez, we're already wasting 30 minutes. <laughs> Friday morning, final day, Rocky Mountain Race Week. Uh, we left the hotel about 5.30 this morning trying to beat the heat. Uh, 260 miles to go today, get down there to the track. Actually, we're gonna go to right to our hotel because turbo's coming in overnight. So it should be there by lunchtime, would be the goal. We can slap that turbo on, we can get rid of this broken one. Um, and get over there, make some final passes. See what Junior over here has got in him. See if he can actually run the tune-up he was supposed to run yesterday. Well, the tune-up that was in the car. See if he can run that, and then, and then see if we can put a moon tune in it. So that's it. We're about I don't even know. We probably have already done 60 miles, 70 miles so far. So well on our way, but it's supposed to be 100 degrees by noon. So we're trying to beat that heat and get down there. So. So last night, yeah, when we finished up, we had the vice grips on there. Well, then as we looked it over and like shook it around, we were afraid that the vice grips would just fall off and then we're worried about where they might go. So we decided with the um, with the wastegate off there, and I mean, just open header, there's no load on that turbo. So we figured it's best, we'll just let that thing spin. So what's kind of cool that maybe we'll show you at the hotel later before we change it, but that uh, when it's idling that turbo spinning backwards because the other turbo is not only feeding through the intake it's feeding out that turbo and there's not enough load on it from the exhaust so it's actually just spinning the other way but once you come off idle there's enough pressure between the um the wastegate opening where the wastegate does is not residing right now and through that turbo to actually get it to spin to where it is at least a positive charge o2 sensors turned off on that side so we're running o2 on the driver's side so Basically, we're running a turbo off of four cylinders and open header off the other four cylinders. So we'll see how that works out for 260 miles. So far, 70. It's just obnoxiously loud because it's open pipe on one side. So tune-ups turned off. We're not letting any correction happen because it'll just be a mess. So there you go. That's what we got.
because I've always wondered where the world's largest Fabergé egg was. And now I found it. So I can take that worry off my mind. Think the, we think the innards are the same, but the outers are different. So, hoping if it is truly the same, that we're going to be able to just take off our front and back cover and put them on here to be able to get it to match up. So, if not, we got to put the old turbo back on there. Anything else? Oh, I don't know. Well, yeah, he showed a shot me in the hallway the other night. <laughs> pounds of boost so I'm more worried about that we got 87 octane in there because that's all we could find so mixed with a little bit of E85 so hopefully hopefully I blends all right for 10 pounds of boost so should be should be fine and the temperature will be low enough hopefully that'll prevent it from knocking too much but see what happens uh, relieved especially because it's freaking hot as it is so Uh, maybe whatever. Hopefully he'll go down, run a nine, and we'll see what he wants to do from there. He'll have to drain some gas out of it if we want to turn the boost up any more than that. So we'll see.
see how the fuel looked and see if he wants to go again. Maybe we can turn it up a little bit, I don't know. Like uh, 986 was kind of hoping maybe that'd be like a 9, 950, but um, we'll see. We'll see what he wants to do. But that was not second pass, so back to where he was. Drove it all the way down the track that time, so it was a little bit, a little bit of a handful. Track can't take a whole lot right there, but he did great. of the week so that's all well and good um, I just turned it off just based on uh, based on everything I mean I don't I had the, the grand ambition hoping that we could go ahead and turn it up to do an eight but I don't know that that's in the cards with it so so we'll see I mean he'll download the data log and we'll see I mean maybe we get a 950 940 or something for him so and go from there so We'll look at the data, come up with a plan. Doctor, we looked for 85. There was supposedly a gas station that had it here. Um, no, and then all we could find, well, all we ended up with is 87, but 10% ethanol. So it's mixed in there. Flex Fuel's got it rated right now at 17% ethanol. So, um, so I wasn't afraid of that pass or anything with it with 10 pounds of boost. Um, not sure how much more I want to push it with that fuel mixed in there with it. So. We'll see, but I mean, I'll look at the data and then just see what everything was doing and make a decision based on that and go from there. But either way, I mean, he did enough now to finish the week. If he doesn't make another pass, then that's a success. And I mean, that's probably the biggest part of it is trying to make it the whole week. The other is trying to get him licensed. We accomplished both those. Um, three nine-second passes for the week. So, I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, going from... Uh, or, I mean, I think a 15 with his first pass, but I think he turned in a 12 on day one. Uh, I think he turned in 12 on day two. Two nines on day three. Uh, 10, 15 yesterday, and then he's got a nine for sure today. And uh, we'll see if we can improve on that and see where things end. Probably the last run of the week if all goes well. If I improve one more 50, then maybe that's an eight. Missed 
Not quite a, not quite the moon. Tires lifted. You gotta go for small moons. Did the tire come off the now? Oh yeah. Joey said, the la Joey said the was last Was I in front pass. of the tire? No, we were in front of the car to get a picture of the tire. I got a little tiny video. Joey said it. the last pass that lifted the tire a little bit too. Okay, and you won. Yeah. It's not bad for a big old pig. The little turbos, LS, and a steel well, one. one. Yeah, one and a half turbos. Yeah. good but damn it was off by 12 so looked damn good going down there though so she can definitely take some more so now that the track op tracks open till 10 i guess uh, we gotta up that move tune a little bit and see where we can go with it Blew the hood open, so don't know what happened there. Pin's gone. I was like part way down the run and right side of the hood flew open. Not good. Everything looks fine engine wise though, so Hood pin broke. What's that? Hood pin broke. Did the hood flip up? Went woo! Passenger side hood pin is nowhere to be found. I guess it's not rated for 140 miles an hour. What that one's mile? all bent up. What was your mile per hour? 133. But that flew up. And... Dang, 585, 122 to the eighth. I mean, it's. Ready to rock and roll. Did I get out of it before the quarter? Looking at that, because I really don't know when that hood flew up, and I, I know I, I stopped mean, after that. I mean, you must have for the fact that, I mean, 143, you shouldn't have been down mile per hour, you should have been up. But, well, I guess your hood needs recalibrated. It's not an AO, it's not an eight second hood. So I guess your eight may just have to wait. All right, we're gonna call that a wrap. He went down on that. I was hoping that would have been eight. I didn't take it down for this. Yeah, he had air brakes deployed, so that was probably eight-ish, maybe without the air brakes. I mean, definitely the, the eighth mile stuff. I mean, 585, 122 miles an hour. I mean, that should have been well over 150 out the back with that, would that have 
Would that would that have got you another twelve? I don't I don't know that it would have, but um, it would have been it would have been damn close. But either way, with the broken turbo, we're running on the the turbo that wobbles instead of spins, and um, the hood coming up. We might have to re-engineer that a little better so that that doesn't come up again. Um, all in all, I mean, I, I couldn't be happier with the week. What about you? It was fun. Wanted to uh, regret it at some of the hotter points. So second pass and the first 10 second pass and the first nine. Yep. Should have been an eight. Yep. Would have, could have, should have. But, uh, end of the day, I mean, it's definitely there. The car will be in the eights, uh, possibly next time that we have it out. Um, I mean, his progression, I mean, as, as you guys hopefully saw that, I mean, we tried to just give you the honest, the honest day by day, whatever, run by run thing of how to progress somebody through never going down the drag strip to end in the week, almost running an eight. Um, obviously, I mean, everybody's gonna progress different. So his progression isn't the same as somebody else's progression. Somebody might progress faster, somebody might progress slower. I mean, it's all just, it's all about comfort. It's all about muscle memory. It's all about going through the motions with it. I mean, you saw the improvement of its burnouts from the beginning till now. Uh, the control of the car, the understanding of the car, the, the knowing your shifts, the thinking you know what RPM you were at when you did stuff. I mean, that's all the stuff. I mean, that's that's all any of this stuff's about. So, um, we made it through the week, 1,200 and some miles, whatever, how many miles we put on a car that got rolled in a trailer at 10.30, 12 hours from here, 10.30 at night, 12 hours from here, the day before it started. So, to me, I, I, you couldn't do better. I mean, get here with a car you helped build, you 100% wired, and we had a flex fuel issue, but that really was the holly pin, because once we switched the pin, then it was fine. So like, zero wiring issues, zero overheating issues, zero, zero issues altogether. I mean, that's, can't be more impressed with how that turned out. So, until next time, then, uh, does some refinements on this, maybe he cleans up the wiring that he did and makes it look a little neater. And uh, we get the hood to stay on and a little more practice stuff with it. And uh, we'll be out there again. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and thanks for coming on the journey with us. Let us know what you think.